Hello and welcome to Math Maths, doing a short on the transformations. Reflection, rotation, enlargement and translation. Let's start with reflection. What you need here is to know where the mirror line is. If I draw the dotted line here, I'm then going to reflect the shape so it looks symmetrical the other side of this mirror line. And in this case, it's going to be touching that shape. It doesn't change the size of the shape, but it changes the way it's facing. So for instance, there was a dot there, that dot would then have moved there. If I go to rotation, I then need to know three things. I need to know the direction, I need to know the degrees, and I need to know the center. So I'm gonna say that this is going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise about the point A. So I'm gonna use counting here, some people prefer uh, tracing paper. If this point marked X is one up, it'll move to one across. This one is one to the left, it'll then move up here. And then I would see that that shape now starts to look like that. This shape here is, that point say where the triangle is two away, it's then gonna be two up. And then I have that shape rotated there. So I've used counting, or you could use tracing paper, but I need to know three things. The direction, which is uh, clockwise, turning that way, 90 degrees, and about the center A. Let's move on to enlargement. In this case, we need to know two things. We need to know the scale factor and the center. I've set a scale factor of two, so I'm making the shape twice as big. Because of the drawing here, I'm not gonna have space to do the center of enlargement. But if that is three, the space, uh, the shape will now be six. That's one, so that'll be two. And then you can see it's go overlapping my next image. But roughly there, it's, it would go over, over to there, okay? And the center of enlargement, I would use projection lines to draw them that way. Okay, I'm just gonna erase those for the last one here, which is translation. And for translation, we need to know how much we're going in the x direction, how much we're going in the y direction, and we use a vector for that. So I'm gonna use the vector uh, three, one, which means three in the x direction and one in the y direction. So if I put across there, one, two, three, and one up there, it moves to there. If I circle there, one, two, three, just move those out the way, and three, and then my shape translate or moves to that point there. And I can check that with any other shape. Put a little 